Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Sublett, and I'm an allergist. Allergy and asthma are common conditions affecting more than 50 million Americans. What many people don't know is that these conditions go hand in hand and often affect members of the same family. Having both allergy and asthma can mean double the trouble. In 80 to 90 percent of those that suffer from asthma, allergies are the primary trigger. In this segment of Why See an Allergist, we're going to focus on the relationship between allergy and asthma and how these conditions can run in families. Hi, I'm Dr. Stanley Feynman, allergist, and I'm here today with Betsy and her son Colin, who just recently moved near my office. Betsy, could you tell me a little bit about your allergy problems? Hi, doctor. Um, yes, I have suffered from allergies and asthma since I was very young. I was diagnosed at around six years of age, and um, really uh, my allergies are environmental, cats, dogs, grass, mold, and dust. Um, and my asthma was really bad when I was younger as a child. As I got older, it seems to have gotten better. I have pretty much always been on medication, a pill or an inhaler form um, throughout my life. The allergy symptoms and asthma symptoms that you were having were really interfering with your normal activities. Yes, sometimes I would even get winded walking up a flight of stairs. Okay. Sometimes their allergy type problems can come in threes and we see people also have difficulty with their skin. Do you have any problems with your skin? I do, yes, I have eczema. I have had eczema also since I was younger. It was quite bad when I was young, um, and that too has gotten better as I've gotten older. You're really a typical example of a patient who has allergy problems that could mm -hmm. trigger symptoms in the nose, mm -hmm. symptoms in the lung, and symptoms in the skin. So tell me about Colin. Well, Colin, I started noticing, um, would have issues when he was really young, six, seven months, when he got a cold. And I noticed right away that the colds went to the chest area, and he would have trouble breathing and, and wheezing. Um, so we, um, we do have a nebulizer that we use if he gets sick. We also have an inhaler that we use as well. I have a two-year-old son who is not with us today. He's home. And um, he too, when he gets a cold, it goes right to his chest and he gets wheezy and coughs. And so we use the nebulizer with him. We haven't used an inhaler with him yet. Allergies do run in families and frequently, mm -hmm. uh, if one parent has an allergy, then there's about a 40 to 50% chance the child can have allergies. Mm -hmm. If both parents have allergies, then that risk for a child developing allergies can increase to 70 to even almost 80%. Oh my gosh. Wow. So it's not un, not that surprising that your mm -hmm. children, you know, will have some sort of allergic manifestations. Now I know you said you weren't really having any symptoms of your asthma, but one of the things that's important to find out mm -hmm. is how your lungs are functioning. Okay. So we are going to do a lung function test. Okay. It's called a spirometer, and so what we do is we have a spirometer here. So you're going to take a deep, deep breath in. Put it in your mouth and then blow out as hard okay. as fast as you can. And we'll encourage you. Let me make sure it's ready to go. Okay, you ready? Okay. So you can just hold it up there. Tell me when you're ready. Blow hard, 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 hard. Blow hard, more, more, more. That's good, okay. Let's see how your results are. You've got a good normal lung function. Oh, super, so that's, that's good. Great. I think that we're fine in not using medications on a regular basis, okay. but have a breakthrough medication like an inhaler, a bronchodilator, right. available in case you start having trouble. Because frequently people who have allergies and asthma can have more problems with asthma from time to time. Okay. So you should have your reliever bronchodilator available to use if you need it. There's no reason why Betsy can't enjoy most every day of her life symptom free. With proper treatment, Bessie's asthma and allergies can be relieved. Bessie's children are also a good example of the fact that both allergies and asthma are inherited and can be passed down in families. A board certified allergist recognizes this and is capable of helping both Betsy and her children improve the quality of life for the entire family. 
Thank you for watching and tune in to other American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology segments about how an allergist can help you. Till next time, this is Dr. Jim Sublett, your host for this segment of ACAAI's series, Why See an Allergist? Because allergies and asthma are serious diseases and that's nothing to sneeze at.